Steve asked me to make a couple of comments, and I will keep them brief. I have not seen the video yet, so Mr. President, I'm also looking forward to it. Uh, just a couple of things. I've been away for a little more than three weeks, so once again, I have cancer. And I want to thank you all for the love and concern that you, members of the press, Democrats, Republicans, and people throughout the country have shown me. Uh, we saw some cinematic glimpses of Washington, but what people tend not to see about this town is it really is a small town. It's a small town where we are quite often bound together by extraordinary experiences and the unique honor of sitting in a seat of government of a nation that not only remakes history, but also defines what it means to be a good country. I have learned many times far more than I deserve uh, that every American has a desire to do good for somebody else, and I have been the recipient of that. I want to thank you for that tonight, and I also would like to encourage everybody, whenever you have an opportunity and you find somebody who is in distress and need, pass it on. It makes a huge difference, an unbelievable difference. And for those who are used to seeing members of the press at me or me going it back at members of the press, we'll have that entertainment again, trust me. <laughs> and I can't wait to get behind the podium. But the other thing, the thing that very seldom is glimpsed by Hollywood or anything else, is the heart and decency and soul of the people in this town. And if we manage, as we have this week throughout with the, the horrible episode at Virginia Tech, and the continuing crises that are going to confront us as a nation of destiny, if we can continue to put our best foot forward, We'll not only make ourselves feel better, but we will perform a very great service to mankind. And I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for everything you did.